Welcome back to RX Craft. I am Amaros, and we are over at Turkaniel's base. Basically, we are going to be uh, helping him get into the Christmas spirit just a little bit. I'm actually thinking we shall take some wool and make him a nice little lawn ornament somewhere maybe up there yeah i think that might be a good idea maybe a little lower perhaps here hmm shouldn't take too long to build i'm actually going to make kind of a smaller one but we're going to build a snowman you know can't help but think of that frozen tune where it's like do you want to build a snowman yeah we're gonna build a snowman i'm thinking i'm gonna play around with the eyeballs a little bit make them a little googly eyed might have a little bit interesting look but there's a nice little uh snowman uh, how to on plots that shows you how to build kind of the structure say we want to build them here we can just do something like that for the base and build up from there making a couple of spheres on top of each other lots has a top hat we're going to replace it with a christmas hat so let me go ahead and crack on with that shouldn't take too long okay we have completed our project and so when he goes out his front door here <laughs> he will have an invasion of the snowman <laughs> Went and put a few strategic glowstone around him so he'd illuminate the hat and the face a little bit right there on top of the shoulders. And I have him posed to climb over his little ring here. It's not that great. He's not leaning forward or anything, but not sure if I like the yellow there for the mouth area. Can't see it too good from down here, but yeah, I think it'll work. There is one. Uh, item that is missing from this scene and that is snowflakes i'm thinking i'll put just a few down you know maybe here here there here just kind of flying in the air floating just to kind of add to that winter wonderland and it's ironic that it's over a nice desert <laughs> i'd throw down some snow patches but they might melt but either way, we'll get some snowflakes up in the air here and get this looking a lot like winter. All right, we have finished. Aha. Do you want to build a snowman? Aha. And we have our snowflakes. I only made three of them since they are quite the intricate pieces. I found a little gift that had some pixel art snowflakes. I kind of made one myself, but... Eh, it looked kind of like that one, but just a little bit more with radius instead of the little patterns. So it came out pretty nice, but I figured this would be a little quicker way to get some variety. But they do take quite a long time to build with how intricate they are, and I have to build them from the ground up with spacer blocks and dirt. So, now that taken care of, I hope Turcanio likes that. Kind of looks like he's waving, doesn't it? Oh, well, I was thinking about putting some glowstone in the middle or something to light him up. But, nah, we'll pass. So, back to the project for today. So after that little bit of silliness, we are back at the base to pick up some of the materials that we will need for our build. And we have to kind of take a trip through the nether. <laughs> no, I'm not just gonna glaze over this. <laughs> I'm sure you're like, what the? Wait, 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 wait. Yes, I put in some packed ice and some snow slabs in our floor here. Stupid portal, quiet. And so I did kind of finish out our elemental of uh, kind of molten and water with the snow in the middle. And I made this one extra wide. And unfortunately, the portal's four wide, so it doesn't quite work, but it's closer. And, of course, my hallway. Yes, I have actually fixed it up, made it look better. Yes, yes. I do hope you like the uh, 
oak in the dark oak here and kind of the whole blocks along the edge put some chiseled glowstone here along with some chiseled blocks lots and lots of chiseled blocks they do give me quite a bit of variation and things to pick from as far as design is concerned I and mean, it could be like quartz and cobble and some other stuff make it kind of no more vanilla like but hey we added chiseled so that we could have these extra cool block textures to give us this kind of variation so i'm trying to incorporate it a little bit more into my builds getting used to them so i hope you like the hallway and the changes there but let's go ahead and get to where we're going for our project we are at the Coliseum at our theme park area and what I am thinking we would like to do is add another attraction up here we haven't even finished our Coliseum yet but you know it's a big project it's gonna take some time but we need some more attractions here at the theme park and I am thinking an ender pearl toss it's going to be kind of like an obstacle course, checking your abilities at tossing ender pearls, and I am not very good with these even now. So it'll be a pretty good test for even me. But say we wanted to land on that area there, we could just toss the ender pearl and get stuck in a wall. <laughs> but basically, have platforms that we try to land on a small area right on top of so yeah just a nice little course like that i was thinking we could start out with a room of sorts that we would have a beginning like porch that we could start tossing off and so i was kind of scouting this area here thinking we could probably do something pretty fun with this area there's some nice hills some valleys in here there's a nice ravine over this way yes i am floating around on my glider <laughs> and one thing i want to show you real quick i was just checking out this area looking for maybe to build a little place here but i saw this hole right here don't want to fall in but yeah that looks like quite the dangerous trap, doesn't it? <laughs> so, I'm going to go and plug that real quick with something. Hmm. And, yeah, we'll just do this. Ha. So we'll get a spot for our little house built. House. <laughs> So we'll get a little spot built for, really shouldn't record at night. There we go, we'll let it just all drain away there real quick. And uh, nice little area right in here. Not bad, not bad. Kind of a very strange wall that is. Maybe we'll have to preserve this area just a little bit. Cave. So I'm thinking we could do it right about here. Just build it right in this hole. Yeah. Let me get some kind of framework going. Well, I didn't really come that prepared, but I do have a little bit of a rough outline up there. <laughs> with what materials we did have. Oh, look at that, first try. With what materials I did have, I did lay out a rough room here, thinking we'll go with a little bit of a spruce theme since we have our spruce stairs along the edge of our platforms. An example platform right there. I decided I'd use some of these chiseled glass panes to kind of border this give it a nice stark readily visible feel to it and we're going to use a little bit of a chiseled uh, redstone block here to kind of point in the direction of the next platform 
We got some laboratory blocks from Chiseled as well to kind of liven up the floor just a little bit. So the idea is to just kind of toss the ender pearl in the general direction you're trying to go and basically do that. Just land right there on top. And I'm getting really lucky with this. So this is a complete platform here. If we miss, we'll just have to go and climb up the stairs. Got some chiseled nether brick there as kind of our pillars, glowstone, so we keep the spawn safe. And what I'm trying to do is be a little tricky here. Give us some pretty decent... Oh, come on. Oh. Give us some pretty decent shots here with our ender pearls so that we can just kind of hone our skills test our skills even but let's see this one's gonna go in that direction there's some lava there that might cause some fun let's chuck it right about actually there and ugh. all right thinking water hazard oh yeah if we put it right there sounds like a good spot so we'll have it kind of low about right there yeah we can see to here it's a little lower so it'll have it arc just down a little I'm trying to do things that would cause us to have to like toss like maybe the next one should be right up here somewhere right in this area so we get a lot of up and down and angles, some far, some close. And we'll get us a nice little bit of a course going. I'd also like to take it through a little bit of the scenery. You know, there's a gorge over in that direction. And kind of loop around and bring it back to our beginning point. And basically have our finish require us to land at a finish line just before our little... Uh, bunker of sorts there a little house ish looking thing not quite sure what to call it starting hall and maybe we might even rig up some redstone to detect when we first leave and when we first come back that way we can give them kind of a count and maybe blocks or something but let me go ahead and find some more spots for this get a few of these built and we can give it a dry run All right, guys, I have made some alterations to the room here behind me. And there we go. Uh -huh. Doing a little bit of uh, designing in a creative world. And this is kind of what I came out with. I haven't quite figured out how I want to handle the ceiling yet because I want to make this kind of the uh, spot where you come back and hit and I'm going to have like a pressure plate array here or something so we can trigger some redstone. But I haven't quite figured all that out yet. So the roof is still up in the air. I'm thinking having this kind of a border here with our spruce wood bits here. But I'm actually starting to like this layout. We got some glowstone in the corners, stone slabs, and some spruce wood slabs. But this, it's simple. It's not terribly three-dimensional. I do have some of the stone here. And, I don't know, maybe some stairs here and here. I don't know. I kind of like it being flat so we can post signs or something on it. But yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. For not having a designing bone in my body. I think it came out pretty good, so... One thing I did notice as well while we're here is I went and did a dry run on our Interpol toss platforms. And unfortunately, a few of them are a little too far spaced to give us really a consistent challenge 
every one of them were just aiming way up into the air just to try to get the Ender Pearl over to the platform. So I'm gonna have to put like probably four more platforms in and change the position of a few of them. So let me go ahead and do that and give it another dry run and we'll see if it's uh, ready for prime time. So let me go ahead and get cracking on that. All right, it is actually the next day, but I do have, oops, <laughs> these towers moved here. So let's go ahead and do a dry run. Going to say, well, I can just check the timestamp of the video and see what my time is. But let's go ahead and see what we can do here. And that flew kind of funny, didn't it? We must have a little bit of lag going on. But let's see, the next one's over here. You can see from the red mark. So let's, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it completely missed it. Either way, we can just walk right up, go up the ladder, what the ladders are for. Now, if you're really good, you could actually toss and hit the front of the ladder, like so. Oh. Oops. Okay. Uh, yes, that's right. Is this one? Aha. Uh -huh. And oh yeah, perfect. You see that? And I always overshoot this one. Oh, nice. Once again. And and it's overshot. I have to put a warning label. Maybe a ladder. Okay, let's jump a little bit and climb the ladder. Okay, next. We got some lava down here, so there is a little bit of a hazard to this. There we go on the ladder. See, there's some more lava. And this one's a short throw. There we go. In the ladder. <laughs> Ooh, probably overshot that one. Yep. And pop it up. Can we do it? Can we do it? Nope. I'll just climb the ladder. Take my penalty shot right here. Pull myself out of the green. The rough. All right. This one's a short one. And there. Oh. Ah. Glitched through it. Didn't like that at all. Did it again. Kind of interesting. It shows the uh, purple kind of thing that the clock does if you're looking at it. See the black and purple? On like super super bad at this apparently oh this thing's wrong okay have to fix that at least i'm getting near these things better than i expect okay so that one's good and poof so close I have to put a sign saying, be sure to grab at least two stacks. Nope. Completely missed that one, too. I'm sure anyone can beat this time. All right. Off. And... Oh. The base again. I'm fairly certain you can actually land on the platform on all of these. There we go. All right, I'll have to check my timestamp on that and see what I got. Okay, timestamp has been checked. We were at three minutes and 40 seconds. So let's go ahead and put our score here. Emeros at three minutes, 40 seconds. There we go. I'm sure it'll be very easy to beat, but we can go ahead and encourage competition on that. 
Let's see, this one we need to take at least two stacks. There we go, a few exclamations. And this one, not sure if you noticed, but I was down to one health. <laughs> So, watch your health bar. I almost died and I didn't even pay attention. I was too focused on just getting to the end and worrying about that. And I've I've done it in the past. I've gotten so close to dying. I haven't died yet from setting this up, but we've been very close, just like this last go. So, we got our time. Three minutes, 40 seconds. Go ahead and see if you can beat that, Turkanil. I'm sure you can. Might take a couple of chances just so you can kind of see the whole course. And I'm thinking I'm going to set up maybe some redstone. Maybe put some pressure plates in this area so we can sustain flip-flop or maybe a, yeah, something. And just run the circuit, land up here, hit more pressure plates, and stop our counter. So these counts can be in raw blocks rather than having to check our videos. But... That's what we got for now. So, yeah, good stuff. I still need to work on the ceiling and I really suck at roofs. So, if you got some ideas for what to do with this terrible, terrible design, <laughs> by all means, send me a message or comment. I'll give it some consideration. Let the best man win. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And figure out the redstone, too. Maybe that'll be next episode. But I think that'll wrap it up for this episode. So thank you for watching, and I hope the spider doesn't eat me And before we finish. Ooh, yes, yes, okay. So go ahead and leave a like if you've liked this episode, and do subscribe. We will see you next time, and have a happy holiday. I mean, it is the Christmas season, or the Hanukkah, or Kwanzaa season, so... Have a Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa Hanukkah. Good night.